For God bought you. With a high price. With a high price. So you must honor God. So you must honor God. With your body. With your body. Nice work. All right. So let's do one more. Do you want to do a southern accent voice or do you want to do a robot voice? A southern accent. All right. Yeah, everybody. Here we go. 1 Corinthians 6 20. 1 Corinthians 6 20. For God bought you. For God bought you. With a high price. With a high price. So you must honor God. So you must honor God. With your body. With your body. Wow. Yeah. Very good. All right. Well, we hope that you're getting that in your head and in your heart. And Cameron, are you ready for today's lesson? Yeah. Awesome. Check it out, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. Today, we are going to talk about how our mind belongs to God. Have you ever received a package in the mail or a letter, and you're so excited and you can't wait to open it and see what somebody said to you or see what somebody sent you, and it's so exciting. But sometimes packages come to our house that we don't want and we weren't expecting or they don't belong to us and so we have to send them back or return to sender. When we talk about our mind, we're talking about our thoughts and God wants us to think his thoughts. Think, think, think. Oh yes. So when we have a, when we have a thought, that comes to us that is opposite of God's word, we have to return to sender. And who is the sender? That's right, it's the devil. He tries to bully us with thoughts of, of doubt or worry or fear or confusion. And when those thoughts come to us, we have to remember my mind belongs to God and I need to return that thought and replace it with God's word. Let me give you a few examples. Is there something on your mind possibly that you've been worried about and when you lay down to go to sleep at night, you're tempted to think about it over and over and over again? What you need to do is you need to stop, return those thoughts to sender and replace it with the word of God because God's word says that he supplies everything you need according to his riches and glory. And he promises to give you wisdom when you ask because your mind belongs to God. Example number two, is there something you're really scared about? Maybe it's going back to school in the fall or maybe it's, it's this virus that's going around. And you know what? Maybe you think about it and fear starts to come and, but you know what you can do? You can stop, return those thoughts to sender. Remember, my mind belongs to God and replace it with God's word. God's word says that you dwell in the shelter of the most high, which means you, you live in God's presence because you're his child and no plague comes near your dwelling. When you begin to think and speak thoughts like that, peace comes and faith comes that no matter what happens, God is with you and he protects you. My last example, maybe thoughts of confusion have come because, well, maybe your parents are separated and there's two sets of rules at each house and it's so confusing at times. But when that happens and you start to get confused, you can stop return those thoughts to sender and come back to God's word and replace those thoughts with God's word, which his word says that you have a sound mind and that he will also give you wisdom and guidance in all things so you can trust him. And you know what? When you're feeling confused about things like that, you can also go talk to your parents and they'll help you, which is awesome. So I hope that this has helped as we talk about our mind belongs to God, that when thoughts that are opposite of God's word and that go against, like that are opposite of his character, that we return them to the sender, which is our enemy, and we replace them with God's word. If you need help with well, what does God's word say about something, you can ask your parents or you can have your parents ask me, and I would love to send you some scriptures about not, not worrying or not fearing or um, about health and wholeness in your body. 
all of those resources are available and I would love to send them to you. So you have your parents message me and I will get them to you. Will you pray with me today? Father, thank you that you are with us, you're in us, and you're for us. And Lord, thank you that we can replace um, words that are opposite of your word with your thoughts and we can speak out your promises and faith can come and peace can come and order can come. Lord, I pray that, that you would bless these kids and their families this week and that you would continue to remind them of the things that we've talked about. Lord, we love you and thank you in Jesus' name, amen. Hey guys, look who it is, it's Pastor Drew. Hey guys. I'm so glad he's with us today for our very last session of I Belong to God. He is actually gonna answer the questions today. Ooh. Do you think he's gonna get all of them right? Oh, I think he'll do a great job because he has been listening so well over the last few weeks and especially today. So, Pastor Drew, question number one. Today we talked about what part of us belongs to God. Let me think, 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 mind. Yeah, our mind belongs to God. Very good. All right, the next question. When thoughts that are opposite of God's word come, we're supposed to return them to sender and then do what? Uh, get a refund? <laughs> Close, but uh, maybe it's something a little bit different. Oh, refund. <laughs> Replace it with God's word. Yes, we're supposed to find out what God's word says and replace those thoughts with God's word. Gotcha. Great job. I would like a refund though. Okay. <laughs> and our very last question, it's a true or false. I hope you guys are paying attention. Okay, our memory verse is 1 Corinthians 16, 20. Is that where it's found? True or false? Our memory verse is found in 1 Corinthians 16, 20. No, that's false. That is false. Our memory verse is found in 1 Corinthians 6, 20. I hope you guys got the answers right. Pastor Drew, you did a great job today. Woo! And guys, join us next week as we begin a brand new series called Fear Not. Fear Not.